so hi everyone in this tutorial we would be trying to implement lang graph to improve the performance of graph rag so basically if you're not aware of, about lang graph lang graph is an extension of lang chain that helps you to build out cyclic graphs for generative applications i think if you have been following this channel you might have seen some demonstration on how to build a code review system how to build a movie scene description system so all these using multi agent orchestration and using lang graph now graph rag if you know is an improvised version of standard rag where you are using graph analytics for retrieving information from your external documents i have already covered a few tutorials on that this is a, a continuation in that tutorial series only so basically uh, in this particular tutorial we would be implementing lang graph to improvise on the answer so basically if the llm is not able to find the answer to your question we will be reiterating back until unless the uh, llm is able to find an answer by rephrasing the prompt so what do i do i mean by rephrasing so for example if i ask the llm a question who was sachin tendulkar given a document that i have passed it and if the llm is not able to answer that using a graph rag we will be rephrasing the question asking it tell me some important points about sachin tendulkar something like this and then again asking the question until unless we get an answer from the llm so if you can see here this would be the graph that we would be creating start classify input so whatever input the user would be giving as a prompt it we would be classifying the sentiment as whether it was for greeting like hey how are you doing or it was a direct question for the rag system that we have already implemented if it is a handled rag question like if you want to ask a question on the graph rag system it would be giving an answer and then we would be checking the answer whether the answer is meaningful or not so for example if you say who was sachin who is sachin tendulkar and the answer comes out as i don't know so here we will be checking that whether the answer is making sense or not if it is not making a sense we will be rephrasing the prompt and then again hitting handle rack system and then this cycle we go on until unless we get a meaningful answer once we get a meaningful answer some information with it we will be doing a buy and the graph will, object will end there so now we will be running through the codes that we have prepared we will be doing it quite quickly because i have already explained lang graph also and graph rag also for beginners so if any term you are not able to understand you can refer back to the previous videos so first of all to implement graph rag you need to pip install langchain experimental langchain community network x langchain google gen ai we are using the google gen ai free api key that is why we are installing this langchain core json repair and lang graph so i have already covered the co codes on how to implement graph rack so i won't be jumping much on to it here is the lm that i have created this is the basic text uh, that we would be using to create a graph rack system document lm transformer generating the knowledge graph here i have already explained everything so you can refer back to my previous videos on graph rack using lang chain i think that should cover everything for you here we are creating a network x entity where we are inserting the nodes and edges of the knowledge graph that we have formed above using the lm graph transformer uh, into the graph object and then creating a graph qa chain i am just running through the code because i have already uh, covered it in detail in the previous videos do check that out now here comes the new part that we are covering here so now we would be building out a lang graph system over this graph rack system to improve its performance so here are a few variables that i would be using question would be the prompt that is given by the user classification is basically the sent sentiment classification that i told you that whether it's a greeting message or a rack system message response would be the output given by the llm greeting would be the greeting message given by the llm if the sentiment is greeting revised question is the most important variable here because it would be storing the revised prompt once we fail the once the llm fails to understand the prompt and is not able to give an output we would be rephrasing the question that has been given and that would be called as a revised question so here are a few nodes that we have created classify input node handle greeting node handle rag so this is the most important part i have already covered how lang, lang graph application works all these nodes so do check out my previous video on beginners else this video will become very lengthy so i'll be just focusing on the major parts so this is the most important node of uh, lang graph as you can see so what we here we are doing we are loading the revised question running our graph rack chain over it as you can see and we are saving the response of the llm and the revised question as well that's it 
now here you can see that once i have run that uh, the graph rack chain over the prompt we are rephrasing the question here so you run it on the original question rephrase it and then store the revised question that's it and this is a by node so now we are adding all the nodes that we have created above and all the edges that we have created above so these are the edges the entry point is classify node uh, the other edge is handle greeting end and by end so basically if you hit handle greeting you would be ending the graph if you hit by you would be ending the graph but if you hit handle rag you won't be hitting the graph uh, so now these are the two conditional edge conditions that we have added here check uh, rag length and decide next node now basically if you see this particular prompt response does the response means i can't answer the question answer output yes or no if no uh, in the output so we are running the llm prompt here and then passing it to the passing it the response that we have got so if the llm classify that yes the answer given by the llm says that it is not able to get an answer we would be going back to handle rag else if the llm says no the answer is meaningful we are going to buy so this is nothing but this particular flow so if we are passing a prompt that whether the output given by the llm makes sense if it says yes it is making sense to me we go to buy if it says no it is not making sense to me we would go back to handle rag using the rephrased version of the code uh, of the prompt that we have used it is that easy i think you just need to pause it a bit and understand and i will be showing the outputs also so we will be adding these two conditional edges handle greeting and handle rag handle greeting i have already covered in my previous uh, video on improving rag using lang graph so i think you can get the logic there but it's quite easy if classification the sentiment of the classification is greeting we would be going to handle greeting node else we would be going to handle rag it's easy now we have compiled the application that we have built and then we will asking it a prompt tell me something about rajat chaudhary so it was an entity mentioned in the document and then we are invoking the app now here you can see that we are invoking the graph qa chain we got some output for the Raj, uh, for rajat chaudhary from the text and then here we got a finished chain the graph has finished because in the first hit tell me something about rajat chaudhary if you see the classification node it says not greeting because it is not asking for hey hello how are you doing so not greeting hence the flow if i show you for the question uh, tell me something about rajat chaudhary the classification would go to handle rag and if we get some output in this case we have got something response is rajat chaudhary was the first married couple to win the global science award etc etc so the uh, it doesn't say that it was not able to get an answer just try to understand this so if it is able to get an answer eventually what it makes sense that handle rag check rag output in this particular node the output we would be getting is no the answer is meaningful once you pass it through this particular prompt does the response means i can't answer the question but it is able to give an answer hence it doesn't mean that hence the graph would end then and there the graph is finished revised question is this now tell me now let me show you a different thing who was diksha sharma's mother in law now this is something that is not mentioned in the text that i have passed so here you will see in the first iteration no entity has been extracted response was i can't answer this question as a provided knowledge triplet do not contain the information now now comes the scene because now once you hit this particular node check rag output the output would be no uh, yes because it does mean that i can't answer the question so the output given by the lm is meaning the same as we are asking does the response mean so what will happen next it will rephrase the prompt for you and then again hit it so now if you see in the second iteration question whose mother in law was diksha sharma it has tried to rephrase it it's a wrong rephrase but again we have got no answer i can't answer this question so even a third time also will hit the question to whom was diksha sharma related as a mother in law so here you can see that now the lm is trying out different prompts to hit the graph rag and get an output so this was i was trying eventually that context is not given so you will get an error and it will go in an infinite loop but this can be very very helpful when you are not get able to get the output in the first run and when you are not very sure with the prompt also so this such logic can be very useful when you wish to improve your graph rag retrieval problems and eventually you can uh, change the logic here also to get something else like if you want to have a shorter answer so you can mention that 
if in the first iteration i don't get a shorter answer in the next iteration make it short so something like this so you can add custom logics to this and improve your graph rack, uh, graph rack performance i hope this was clear a little complicated but i assume that this is helpful thank you so much